Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So in the last video, we learned how to enlarge an object when the center was origin. So we did four cases, one when the scale factor was greater than one, one when the scale factor was in between zero and one, one when the scale factor was less than minus one, and the final case was when the scale factor was in between minus one and zero, like minus 1.5. So here I will do two examples, however, the center is not going to be the origin anymore. And that's pretty much all there is to know about as far as enlargement is concerned, honestly. Uh, the only concept that we'll be left with is how to find the center of enlargement. So anyway, let's get straight to it. So it says enlarge triangle ABC with center two comma two, and you're given the scale factor in part one, it's two. So we'll do that in red and in part two, it's minus two. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna identify your center, which is two comma two. Now, if you notice that your center and point A are basically the same. Okay, so we'll follow the rules of enlargement. That is, you'll see how far the point is from the center of enlargement, and then you multiply it by the scale factor. Now, something interesting happens when you do that with this point. You see how far it is from the center of enlargement. You'll realize that it's actually on the center of enlargement. Okay, so that means that means the distance is zero. What happens when you multiply zero by anything? It remains zero. So what we discover over here is something called invariant point, okay? And that means that the center of enlargement basically is the invariant point. Why? Because it didn't change at all. So invariant point or, or invariant point of points are basically those points that do not get affected by the given transformation. So in enlargement, remember that, just make a mental note that the center of enlargement is is the invariant point. Okay, so A remains where it was, okay? So I'll just put a red dot over here to show that the object and the image are the same. Uh, let's look at B, let's see how far B is from the center of enlargement. So if we count the units, it's one, two, three, four. So it's four units away from the center of enlargement. If I multiply that by two, so that means now it's gonna be eight units away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or what you can do is you can use that concept where you look at the length of the object, which is four units. And since you're, since the enlarged triangle is double of the original one, that means the in image image length is actually going to be eight units. Okay, and there you go. And you can apply the same concept to part, uh, to this point here, okay? So you can see that the length of BC, the object is two units, okay? So that means when you enlarge it, it's going to be double of that, which means it's gonna be four units. Or if you want, you can use the same concept that point C is four units to the right, and two units up, so that means the image is going to be eight units to the right and four units up, and there you go. You connect all the points and you can see that we have ourselves a nice and shiny image. Now we do part two, which I'm gonna do in green, okay? And here, the scale factor is minus two. So we all know what happens, we all should know what happens when the scale factor is negative. That is, the image in this case is going to be larger than the object, no denying that but it's also going to be 180 degrees rotated about the center, okay? Now, you don't have to worry about the rotation, you just follow the rules, okay? And it's just gonna rotate itself. Or, another way of thinking it, thinking of this is that the coordinates of the image are gonna be on the opposite side, okay? So B, as you can see, is four units to the right. A, by the way, it doesn't go anywhere. B, as you can see, is four units to the right of the center which means B prime is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight units towards the left. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Now, oops, sorry about that. Yeah. So this right here, let's call this B prime, okay? Now, if you look at point C from the center, it's four units to the right and two units up. So now it's going to be eight units and four units, but it's not going to be to the right anymore. It's actually going to be towards the left and it's not going to be four units up anymore. It's actually going to be four units down. So let's do just that. We already have ourselves this line here. So the height is going to be four units, but in the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four, there you go. And now we join this and we have ourselves the image in image obtained when you enlarge this triangle with scale factor minus two. So let's label this part two and let's label this part one. So yeah, uh, through this, we've learned what the invariant point is and we've also learned what happens when the center is not origin, which by the way, in most cases, you'll notice that the center is actually not origin. Okay, so you might wanna get used to this concept. So anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one where we will learn how to calculate the center of enlargement. 
So yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.